Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today, we're checking out some more crazy custom maps in FH5. You guys have been sending in some amazing maps in this game over on my Discord server. If you guys want to submit some maps for the future episodes of this, join the AR12 Discord server, check out the FH5 submissions tab, and send in some maps that either you've played or you've made. Map number one today is the Forest adventure map made by Clayton. He submitted this map over on our Discord server. Navigate through the forest and find three hidden collectibles. You love to see it. Um... Um... The floor is in! Welcome to the forest adventure map. Navigate through the cave. I really don't know where these hidden things are gonna be. If they're gonna be, like, hidden away in bushes or maybe like behind some tight core nurse. That is what I'm talking about. Wait, was that not one of them? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that was definitely one of them. So I'm really looking around for all of these hidden things. It's actually ridiculous if you think about it. Every single one of those rocks was placed piece by piece. The same for all of these trees. I'm actually dropping frames coming through here. When I start to pick up some speed, my FPS definitely drops down to like, uh-oh, 15 or so. Those are such cool little details. I love them. Ooh, what's behind there? Oh, hello, there's another hidden thing. All right, we have found two of three. Uh, so do I need to go that way or this way? I guess not that way. This is just mind-blowing how nice this map looks. Gentle, gentle, very nice. That is so sick. Like, the little details in here are just absolutely incredible. I've still got to be on the lookout for this, for this other one. Is that a destructible wall? Yup! Yes! Let's go! 25% of this map left to go. Here we go. Jump it up there. Oh my god, the FPS! <laughs> this map is single-handedly gonna destroy my Xbox. Alright, now up through there. Nice! Break, break, break! Very good. Like, this is so well made. It's so creative. There's the finish line. Boost pad it. What a cool map. Clayton, you absolutely nailed that. GG. Map number two is actually a Super 7 event. Escape the monster. Trapped in a monster's torture chamber, you find a twisted MX-5. Use it to escape. If you are caught, you'll be trapped until I restart. Okay. Right off the bat, we've got a sick looking livery. We've got like a wide body MX-5. Here's the thing. I don't actually know what to do. Somehow I need to get out of here. So, okay. Okay. Now, I've never actually... Oh, I guess that's gonna yeet me through the floor every single time. I've got to send it through there and then... Yes! Yes! Let's go! That is sick! So it uses a glitch somehow to get through the floor. And then I've got to balance on these. Oh my god. This is insane! Holy, holy, oh! MX-5 is not very wide. Again, just like an unbelievably creative map out here. All right, now we've done all of that stuff. Now we're heading back up. Is this gonna put us back into the normal world? It will. That is such a creative map. Absolutely well played, bud. I'd also like to use this opportunity to say, developers, please do not fix that glitch. I know I usually save drifting for the end, but I want to go slide some cars around, and this circuit is unreal. Map number three is Formula Drift Atlanta, made by Eddie Mark. I saw this map on TikTok, and it was unbelievably well made. So if you know Road Atlanta, you are going to freak out when you see this circuit. Up into the drift zone and onto the formula drift start line. We'll start over here and away we go down the hill here in Atlanta and initiate early, hit all the clipping points. Holy, 
Holy, this map is so smooth. No way. The elevation changes are so, so sick. That is awesome. The elevation change is actually so smooth. That is incredible. I think you can see why I like this map so much. When I saw this thing on TikTok and saw the downhill combined with all of the trees and like the additional props to just make this map come alive, I was freaking out and I knew I had... Whoa, there's actually a wall there. So you can't get too close. Yo, that's sick. Eddie, you absolutely nailed this thing. I think this might be the best drift circuit we've tried so far in Forza Horizon 5. Like, the quality of it, the smoothness of it are just on another level. This is crazy good. I, I know I said it last week, but every single week in this game, the maps just get better and better. And I think that map right there shows how crazy they're getting. If real life racetracks are gonna be a thing, why don't we get some of the AR-12 mods in here and try out another real life race circuit? The Monaco Grand Prix circuit. Yes, this is a one-to-one -one scale accurate incline Monaco GP. Bimmer Boy is actually one of our Twitch subs who's in the AR-12 Discord server, and he was sending a bunch of like work in progress photos of him making this circuit. Take a look up in the sky. You can already see Monaco. Jeez. So welcome to Monaco. A bit of a jank pit entrance, but very nicely done. So we've spawned in on the back half of the track. Now we're basically crossing the start finish line and we can go up to the hill. I like how you have the bounce there. Can I just say Monaco feels way bigger when you're not in a Formula One car? All right, then you drop down the hill. That is a sketchy descent there into the hairpin section as well. I like how you tried to build a building over there. I love how you can actually see the ocean and into the tunnel we go. Yo, that is sick. That is so sick. That's Monaco. Oh, that is amazing. I love how we've even got all of these stands along our right through this other little chicane through the swimming pool section. Very nicely done. In here, we've got more stands. And then we can jump up there for the pits or carry along there for the actual racetrack. I want to check out these pits. All right, morons, which one of you crossed the finish line? I guess that's Monaco. No, you can see birds flying up here. What? what? Um, I have no idea what just happened. This is a map made by a guy named Zuko called Hot Pursuit. A mysterious driver has stolen a prize car from the festival intercept and confront them before the driver escapes. How exactly do we do hot pursuit? Chase down the mysterious driver. Okay. Hold activate button for boost. EMP online? Hold for five seconds to activate EMP online. Wait, what? Wait, Nathan, come back. I want to see if I can EMP you. Well, that worked. <laughs> I didn't know, I didn't know the EMP was that strong in this game. Uh... <laughs> oh, Ace says I was faking it. Oh, never mind. Ace needs an Oscar for that brilliant performance. You know, some maps work really well and um, uh, others not so much. For this final map, we're going from FH5 Mexico to FH5 Japan. A narrow toge loop with custom environment to quench your initial D thirst. Toge battle number one. So what's really cool about this map again, there's actually a whole bunch of different versions of this map. There's like some of these you can do at midnight, some kind of like in the middle of the day, some when the sun is setting and so on. Our toge battle A86 versus a Mitsubishi Evo out here in Japan, a 1v1. Take a look at this map. I think you can see what they mean when they say 
Yeah, this map takes you from Mexico to Japan. My A86 doesn't really have much horsepower. I'm kind of struggling to catch up. You know, I think what I'm learning about myself today is that I really like maps with a bunch of trees on them. Okay, I'm going proper A86 tryhard. I'm like the main character from Tokyo Drift, the guy who keeps crashing. That's me. Toyota Supra versus the Honda S2000. So this is actually a completely different route for this one. This one's actually a point to point, a proper midnight battle toge race through the streets of Japan. Very legit Japan. This is not Mexico in any way. Oh my God, it's sick. Oh, the frames. Or I should say the, oh, the, the lack thereof. And then they all came back at once. It's unbelievable what some people make in this game. It, it truly is. The Japanese mountain is not treating us very nicely. The AI is unreal quick out here. I'm surprised the AI doesn't actually eat any walls. They're driving really well. I'm reeling the Supra in a little bit. I don't know if a stock Supra actually is quicker than a stock S2000 but it certainly feels that way. It's honestly not even like I'm playing Horizon 5 anymore. This is like playing a whole nother game. Just all of the detail around the map with these massive trees, all of the structures and everything. It's so sick. The maps that people are making nowadays are just unbelievable. If you wanna submit your maps, like I said, do it at the Discord server. Link is down below.